Hi, it's Sam the Oil Man, and uh, we're back with Animation Throwdown. But let's get our research going first, while we decide what we're going to do today. Thinking since it's athletic, I'm um, even though my athletic deck won't be as good. Wow, that looks like a cool one. Fever Dreams, nice. Um, yeah, even though the athletic one won't be as good, I'm thinking maybe I should. Um, go ahead and make an athletic deck anyway and play athletic just to mix it up and keep it a little bit different uh yeah let's do that all right so what should we go i think i've still got some leela inventory nope leela's done whoops did i just pull her out of my deck nope that's fine louise inventory nope okay she's finally done and she Fury inventory. Yep. Okay. Cool. My my mythics are finally all done, or at least in terms of uh, legendary cards. Uh, and Arcturian Kung Fu deck and Hank. And we definitely want to do that because the next BGE is Arc. Oh, not Arcturian Kung Fu as a BGE, but it is Fighter. Uh, fight. That's an Imbala project. Interesting, I must be already researching that. Hold on, and none of them worked. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's see what's up. Have I got any Bender research to do? Nope, Bender's fine. Bender's, Bender's full. Uh, so, so if I hold him, he's got like a fighting star, a throwing star. That's a symbol for a fighter. I should probably check if I've got any other fighter cards. Uh, let's go for a filter and fighter apply. See what I've got. No Mercy Dojo. Probably make sure he's all researched up. And it, he's not, so we should do that. A little bit of Tina. There we go. And I guess Bobby will be the next one. No Mercy Dojo. Bobby. Uh, research. Uh, I'm not sure when it starts, but it, probably in another week or so. Um, maybe on the 17th? No, should be before then. Uh, uh, anyway. Yeah, prob probably, maybe even later this week. Uh, I'm out of touch. I've lost lost my cycle for Animation Throwdown. Because it's been that long since I've really played. I've been doing my daily logins. But I haven't really been playing. And let's get my claim rewards. So, I did play the Siege yesterday. Our new Siege rank is 86. Six. Nice, that's the highest we've gone in Siege. Good luck to team, hopefully we can pull that off next uh, next time. Let's see what we've got next. Here we go. Nice, nice rewards. Lots of golden turds. Tough call if I should use it for fighter or keep on saving. Delete that one. Okay, now here we go. In the Peter Asman challenge, I got four points. I did just like a... I guess that would have been two fights, or four fights, or like, I didn't do much basically. Maybe, oh no, it's one fight with three, and you start with one point, so I did one fight. Uh, and then I was, I wasn't feeling well and I didn't play, obviously, that's why I didn't do videos for so long. But, um, rank 57,000. Which is very interesting because it wasn't so long ago that if you just did one fight, your rank would be in the hundreds of thousands. Uh, so that's a good indicator of how many people are playing this game at the moment. 57,000 people thereabouts are playing the game right now. Claim that reward. Or probably not right now, but they're playing at least once. They're doing a challenge fight in the period of time. And what supports that, if we delete that, is the other one. I got 11 points and that bumped me up to 43,000 on the finger cutter challenge. 43,000. Um, yeah, so that's that. Not many people playing this game anymore, comparatively. Um, South Park and plus the game, I guess... When they added new levels, it sort of... Initially, I was excited. Like, character levels. Initially, I was excited. Then, demotivated me. I guess it happened to a lot of people. And my VIP's done. You can see I have ads again. I forgot to watch them. 
<laughs> but I'm not going to put money into it. I'm going to play these challenges. Let's catch up. Fight. Catch up while I talk to you about the Swole Club. The Christmas Swole Club is coming, so get excited about that. Uh, that's super duper exciting. Oh, I should, that's right. Victory! Um, I was going to make an athletic deck and play athletic, so I'll, I should do that. And then I'll actually do the fights. I might actually find them challenging. Alright, deck. Oh, let's go to the deck. There we are, deck. Actually, for the challenges, I can probably still fast forward. But, you know, may as well. Okay, here we are. Um, I want to make a new deck, so we want to switch decks first. I don't know what this AD one is. We're going to change that. That's going to become... Uh, not fighter, athletic. Ath athletes will do. Okay. Sorry about the the sound quality. I'm in an echoey room. But uh, we're going to switch to uh, that deck. Uh, yeah, I didn't have... What's it? Where I normally record is in front of a window. And it's super hot at the moment. My computer for recording was overheating. So I had to move back into my office. Which is like a little echoey box. But never mind. I'm sure you don't mind. Let's see what we've got. Uh, filter for athletic. Apply. Alright, we've got a... Oh, we should power him up. Uh, max out. There we go. Nice, I don't have a second one for fusion, but that's okay. There's my daily upgrades done. Uh, so when I wasn't playing, uh, when I was sick, I still did my daily logins so that I could get my mythic stones. You definitely want to do your da at least open the game to get your daily login rewards. Okay, next we have a Blurns Bolt, and we have another Blurns Bolt, which I should max out if I have enough. Yeah, I've got enough to max that out, that'll do. Boom. Alright, there's... Uh, I've actually got a... Okay, I've got a decent number of athletic cards. I've got one, two, three, four, five. It's the only problem is, other than Blurns Bolt, they're all just single athletic cards. We're going to need some more. We're going to need this Lady Wrestling. Probably going to have to do some Lady Wrestling research. Um, and, oh, we've got push-ups here. Nice. Get some push-ups. Uh, what else have I got? Yeah, okay. Get some wrestling in there. Wrestling is a great athletic card. And I've got a lot of Turkey Day football, so I can probably uh, burn through some of them. Still waiting for my final Roller Derby Haley and Roller Skate Pete. Um, and then even if I did, I'd have to, you know, bend the Giggity Watts to upgrade them. I don't have enough Giggity Watts right now. Probably because I haven't been playing very much. Okay, now, so how many cards did we just throw in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And then if we throw in, um, oh, we're going to need some more, but I guess, uh, there's a, there's an athletic card. Um, maybe, alright, let's do it. Roller Derby and Roller Skate, Pete. And I think that's, that's as athletic as I can go without spinning Giggity Watts. Do I want Leela in there? Nah, nah, I'll, I'll keep it with my cool characters. The next, get some characters in there. So let's go back. We want to filter for legendary and mythic. Fly. Uh, oh, and take off athletic. Oh, Leela's athletic as well, so that's cool. Uh, actually, let's filter for mythic first and get those in. Boom, boom, boom. They're definitely going in the deck. And now get some... Um... Some other characters in there. For Athletic, I don't really know my combos, and I didn't look them up, so... Let's do a couple benders. Actually, let's do three benders. And then let's do uh, a Bobby. Yep, just a Bobby. And then... Do you want Chris? Yeah, let's throw Chris in. 
one more Chris to go. I can't wait to get my, my fourth Chris. Uh, Dr. Amy Wong still needs some upgrading. Throw Eugene in. Throw Hank in. Uh, who are other characters have we got? <clears throat> Um, since we're playing more for fun, let's throw Linda in as well. Um, throw a Fryer in. And a, a Roger. So how many characters is that? It's probably about enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, eight. I think I'm, I've totally miscounted. One, <laughs> two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen characters. That's too many, so let's take out. Uh, that makes it twelve. Oh, alright, I need to throw some other stuff in. But thirteen is too much. Twelve is the absolute most I want to put in. Um, but Roger's Sexy Shorts makes some great combos. Um, what else makes some good combos? Oh, I should have... Oh, no, I've got to power up Steve before I put him in. Actually, no. Let's let's put Steve in for fun. And... What's a good quads now? Just to, to fill up the deck. My best... What happened there? Legendary quad. There we are. Uh, what do we want to put in... Okay, the Doomsday device is always fantastic, and Equestronaut's pretty good too. Um, okay, Tom Landry and Turn and Jeff, and that's that should top it up. Now we should be able to pull some cards out. Let's pull my benders out. Can I pull more out? Did I put too much in? I can pull more out, and I probably should. Uh, where's some non? Some of those cards that I just threw in. Um, where are we? And then Jeff. Oh, I didn't need to add too much in at all. We'll leave Tom Landry, or can we pull that out? No, there we are. 25 cards, so perfect. All right. It's definitely not the best deck I can make, but it's probably the best athletic deck that I can make. And we're going to do that, and that should give us some fun new athletic combos uh, to play. Them, and that should be fun. That should be very fun. Let's um, give this a go. Uh, we'll go play in the arena. And I'm expecting to lose because <laughs> considering I was ranked up relatively high with my best possible deck. And up here we're pretty much only fighting zaps, level 10 zaps. I'm expecting to lose but it should be at least be a little bit more fun with with something new um, that was that was I think part of my problem too is I just made my best possible deck which was full disguise and then oops, take automatic off and then after having a full disguise deck like everything else is like it just got boring and stale not changing it around much what can you help me now still not changing it around <laughs> Oh, six Ed Peter. Hold on. What is up with all these Roger's closets? I, I didn't put Roger's closet in this deck. Did I change the wrong deck? Did I, I forgot to save it, didn't I? Or something. Something weird. Oh, it's not my active deck. That must be it. Uh, it to totally must be it. I don't, I don't know what's going on. What happened? Like, uh, that's weird. I took all the benders out. This is totally not the right deck. All right, lost. Let's go figure out what happened there. What went wrong? Continue. I mean, that wasn't even my best deck. Uh, that was just a really weird deck. All right, back out of out of the arena, which means. After doing deck stuff, you should probably go do an adventure fight to make sure that you're using the deck that you want to, to be using. I may have just destroyed my... Oh no, I've got athletes as my deck. 
And that's totally not the deck that I just built. That's my athlete's deck. And that is absolutely not the deck that I just built. That is really, really super weird. Did I destroy a different deck? Did I make it over top of my disguise deck? Nope. That is super, super duper weird. Because that is totally not the deck that I just built. Alright, back to athletes. Start over. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it should be pretty quick this time. We're... There we go. Um, and we can just go athletes. Uh, actually, first, that's right, mythic cards. There we go, there's some mythics. And now we can go ahead and put in our athlete cards and we know which ones we put in before which is pretty easy all of those legendaries and now just all athlete cards put some of those best ones in there just for fun just for fun and then the wrestling wrestling makes some fun combos it was a great card the last time i played athletic the last time I played Athletic, I think it was level 15 or something. Um, what next? What do we put in here? Built it for character cards. So that's right. Uh, get some Bobby, some Jean, some Hank, some Fry. Oh, we put that in there too. Some Steve, some Tina. Some of that and let's see we still need more cards and more characters um so we're gonna just go yeah we'll do that some extra not fully quoted characters i threw in a chris amy for fun a linda for fun and a steve where's steve i want you steve where is oh no he's already in there uh, a Roger, and how are we going for number of cards now? Okay, we're done. We're done. There's our deck. Now, hopefully, that actually saves. That should. That's the deck I want, athletes. Okay, and away we go. Saving. Yes, please save. Now we'll try this out in adventure mode to see how it goes. Adventure. Here we are. I can't wait to get myself to move and get myself a uh, proper sound, um, like do up my office in proper sound so I can actually record in my office. It's gonna be so good. Well, I can record in my office, but record with better sound. Okay, let's open with Linda. I think it saved, I think it worked this time. We have an athletic deck. And Linda can make. All right, Linda. Interesting card. Not the best, actually. Has a nice cheers, I'm guessing, for athletic. For Bob's Burgers. Interesting. Well, I guess that means we're playing Tina next. There's Tina. Um, but with just a wall breaker, I mean, it's not super helpful. Um, and then Lady Wrestling can combo with Bobby, and I have to do the Amy research. We'll play Bobby next. Let's do the Bobby. And then we'll play. Oh, we've got a Mythic, but let's make this combo Wrestler Bobby Athletics. And following that, um, oh, I can make Ball Girl Tina. Also a fantastic card. Love it. With all that um, motivate and heal, that's a good card. Ball girls have been one of the first combos that I've researched, or like with epics at least, or with Tina, and I just love it. Ball girl, such a good, such a good combo. There we go. Continue, and uh, we'll have to put that box in the inventory, and I'll have to open it later because I've got to watch an ad to open it. So, later, later, later. I might as well keep playing Battle, because we have, since I'm playing, I might as well do the daily um, quests. I've nearly done them, actually, um, considering I've done my upgrades. 
Here we go, and I'm built, I've done a little bit of arena. Let's open with some baseball, Chris. He's just a single legendary, but he is pretty awesome. That would be an absolutely amazing card, quadded. And we'll follow up with Alila, because she's athletic. That's going to be super good, and I mean a pretty much guaranteed win. I could make one-eyed bean machine if I wanted, uh, but I don't want. So let's make, let's get Eugene out. Let's see, uh, athletic Eugene combo. All right, so we could make mascot riders. We could make, yeah, you know, this one. Oh, mascot race, mascot race. Well, that's gonna win it for us. Uh, we won that pretty good. I guess it is the adventure mode. And I do have a pretty powerful deck for adventure mode. Look at all the sports things down the bottom in the uh, four little sports things there. I think that's a bit of a glitch. Let's see what happens when we do our next fight. Loading up, here we go, and fight. Actually, since I'm doing them, let's do some something a little more exciting. Let's go to level 28. Let's fight fight over here. Let's fight Enos. Wonder if he'll be uh, like a character one day. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a nice, nice throw out. Let's open with my push-ups. We've got lots of options and combos with push-ups, and I think I might make a featured combo with push-ups. Let's see, we can make... Baseball Chris as a combo with cripple all of 16 and heal all of 18. That is absolutely fantastic, and that is going to be my feature combo. With a wall of 12, a cripple all of 6, and a heal of 18. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Push up to Chris to make baseball Chris. 20 attack. 25 attack, considering the uh, buffs that we get. Super happy with that. What a combo there. All right, let's go with Dr. Amy Wong, and we can make a Amy combo next. And we go, let's see what we can make. We can make Wingnut Amy, yes! Yes, absolutely we will do that. Absolutely we will do that. Wingnut Amy, you are the best. Um, look at that. The Wingnut Amy and Wingnut Leela are some of the best cards in this game. Absolutely some of the best um and the combos that i can make with them oh super happy super happy uh so that combo even though like you know the cards weren't super powerful um or were they Is that baseball i think it was okay maybe they were decently powerful quartered or at least jeweled cards so and finish it off with coach hank and this is a bit of fun to see and find out what our new athletic combos are. Get a slightly different deck. And since we beat that deck so thoroughly, fight victory. Uh, we're going to continue on and move further up in adventure mode. Uh, oh, actually, I better watch my energy. Um, I've got 19. How many do I have to do still? Where's my quests? Um, quests. I have to do two more fights. Okay, I've got enough. I'm good. <laughs> you gotta watch it. You do have to watch it. Alright, where should we go to? 29, 31? No, that's, well, we'll do 31 next. Let's do level 30, uh, Dale. Let's see how this one goes. Battle. And we should do okay. I'm expecting to do okay. And what do we get? What do we get? Alright, we get a nice little... What should we open with? Push-ups? I guess we'll open with push-ups. Push -ups. I normally open my day with push-ups when I remember. Golfing Hank or Wrestler Bobby? I'm leaning towards Golfing Hank. Let's do Golfing Hank. There we go. The extra punch is really useful, and the cheers uh, goes for anyone. And we'll follow that up with our baseball Chris, who's going to get cheers. Nice. 
And there's only one place for that punch to go. Super good. Super good. We got this without a problem again, I believe. We'll open with our athletic coat and then we'll decide which combo we want to make. Um, oh, can Linda? Yeah, we can make all right Linda. And then we'll play Bob Fergus next. Um, oh, we won. <laughs> all right, 31, final chapter. Can we beat chapter 31, the final chapter, with an athletic deck? Let's find out. Fagmire 31. Oh, yep, we can just do it. And here we go. See what we get. He's got more health. Uh, we've got some options. We've got some Blurns Ball. Um, I think I'm going to go with my quad sexy shorts because I'm expecting this to be a tough fight. And we're going to make Friday. Um, and it should be sorted with Friday. Friday is fine with all his bomb and gas. Even though Principal Peter is, is a monster, I think we're still going to be okay. I hope. Fingers crossed, actually. I'm not I'm not so convinced anymore, actually. Um, let's see what happens. Because we didn't do... Uh, and then payback and gas. Oh no, I think we're okay with the payback and the gas. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be close. Let's see what happens. Oh, we were. At least Frodo didn't die. But now we've got Hank. Hank is not doing well against this high school bill. Um, oh, we gotta do something about that soon. Um, oh, good. This is good, actually. Um, I mean, I'll die in a couple turns. But we've got the wall breaker and some punch, and if we can get another card out, we can get it cheers. So, what should we get out next? What's going to be the most helpful? Um, what is going to be the most helpful here? Let's get Stewie out. He does have a little bit of wall, and he's got some punch, and that should help. There we go. Oh, okay. We're, well, now's a tough one, because we have to put out someone who will survive... Bender's Onslaught, Blurns Ball can do that, or we can make Football Stewie. How much health have I got? 69 health. I can take a hit from Bender. I could make. Could do it. Uh, actually, I'm not going to. I want the punch. Uh, I want to play push-ups, but I think I need to play Blurns Ball and hope and see what we get. There we go. Tough match. Tough, tough match. All right. Again, tough. I've got to put out someone who can survive. Oh, or maybe I take the hit and play Dodgeball Louise. Hope that the cripple goes on to bending school grad. I think that's what I have to do to win. I'm, I'm sure that's what I have to do to win, actually. <laughs> and there we go. Cool. Now, okay. Half decision. What can take the hit? Nothing can take the hit. Oh, no. Maybe Freezer Dome Louise can take the hit, so let's see what happens here. There we go. And I'm going to be in trouble very soon, actually. Um, maybe. Maybe. I just have to play Dr. Amy Wong. And see what happens next. This is, this is going to be close. It all comes down to whether Dodge Ball Louise can get uh, praised up enough. Let's see. Oh, oh, phew, phew, 31, and yes, we're going to pull out the win, nice, we're going to finish off with a wingnut, Amy, there we go, very nice, very nice indeed, very happy with that, we'll both, uh, chapter story mode complete with this athletic deck, so, Perhaps Athletic Deck is not as bad as I was thinking it would be. If you can beat level 31, your deck is certainly not bad. Let's put it that way. Even though there's some epics in there, I didn't actually need to play the epics that often at all. There was always a legendary... I've got enough legendaries that... Um, that it was it was good. So, nice. That was... That was Impressive. I didn't know that I'd make it through that one. It was That was a tough match, but we did it. 
I guess that's, that might be something I do going forward with each new BGE. Make the deck and see if we can beat level 31 in the adventure. Alright, now we have to buy three cards. I wonder how much coins I have, because I haven't done a pull in a long time. I'm getting close to the max, so I'll have to do my pull very soon. Alright, let's see what's next. Uh, well, we're going to do three pulls here, just our daily pulls. There's one. Nice. Buy more. I do like it in South Park, you have to rip the pack open. Here it does it automatically, but I do like doing it myself. It was very clever. And there's my third one. Complete. Nothing good. But from three pulls, can't expect anything that great. But when I do my max pull, I should get something good. I should get something very good. Um, I might go look at those boxes tomorrow if they're still there. I assume they will be. Um, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow and we'll do a box review, a double box review tomorrow. Dojo box and a surfing yogi box. All right, let's see what else I've got to do. I think it's just a couple more adventure fights and then we're done. Let's have a look at the daily quests. Because if you're going to play, you may as well do your daily quests. Um, which are, where are they? Quests. Here we go. Yep, two more arena fights and then that's our dailies. And let's see what's back. I'm not sure that I'm going to play this game every day anymore until until the Swole Club or something new comes out because it is getting a little bit old for me and I'm losing interest. Uh, I think a lot of people are in the same boat. Wait, someone has a level 11 Tina. Nice. Yeah, I, I definitely am losing interest in the game. Um, without new content, I mean, uh, increasing the level of characters is cool. But without new content, um, you know, I've, I've done Athletic a few times. I mean, sure, I have a better deck now, but my best deck is not Athletic. Um, and yeah, without the new content, I'm just losing interest. Alright, what are we going to open with? I guess we'll open with a power card. Um, uh, yeah, we'll open, yeah, we'll open with Freezer Dome. There we go. And then we're going to play Leela. There we go, Leela second. Uh, Leela's not a great card to open first with. She's pretty decent to play second. We don't have any combos. What's that? Student Amy. Um, interesting. Oh, I know what I'll do. Let's play Louise. It's going to be close, but hopefully Lily doesn't quite die. Just, oh, she did. Well, so much for that. I guess I'm losing this battle. Jouster Peggy? Yeah, no wonder um, Lily died. I'm pretty sure I'm dead dead. Make ball go. A little bit of healing up there. But with that Jouster 20 punch, I'm dead. Nothing I can do. Uh, nothing much I can do at all. There's a bit of hay, and then I'm dead. Boom, boom. Defeat. Nice, nice combo card, the Jouster. Um, Jouster Peggy. I do want my Peggy. I'm saving my Mythic cards. Give me another couple more. I mean, if you do your daily logins, I mean, you do get... Let me, let's have a quick look here. See where I'm at. Oh, speaking of which, all those gun show tickets are going to be converted into a golden turd. Not at a one to one rate, because that's ridiculous. Uh, your first thousand are at a one to one rate, and then I think it's like um, from 1,000 to 50,000, you get 3,000 golden turds, and then from 50 plus. You get 5,000 golden turds or some, something like that. But in any case, those extra gancho tickets are being converted into golden turds very soon. And there we go, mythic stones. So I've uh, probably got about six months worth of uh, to go. No, five months. Five months to go to get my next mythic card. If I, unless I pay money, but I'm really not expecting to pay any more money in this game. 
but I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll add a whole ton of content that inspires me. I just doubt it. All right, uh, fight. See what we do with Fry. Looks like, was he level 11 Fry too? I think he was. I think he was level 11 Fry. I guess a few people have been playing more than me to get the to level their characters up. Um, why wouldn't you use Fry uh, if you had a level 11 Fry? Soon I'm going to do a character review of all the, ca of all the cards. Um, what should I open with though? Um, hot dog eating contest. That's not the best combo. So let's open with my Roger Sexy Shorts. And then we'll go with, oh, Cupid Bobby. Yeah, let's do Cupid Bobby. Nice. Uh, wouldn't be nice if Cupid Bobby was against Spoiler C. So we could uh, hijack his craze, but uh, Vegas can be choosers. So next we will go with Blown's Ball. That gives us options. And what options do we have? We can make Wrestler Amy. Certainly an option. We can make our mascot race. That's an option. We can make our hot dog eating contest. I don't think that's an option. Leaning towards mascot race. Let's do that with the 19 wall. That'll be a while before Boy Witch can actually do any sort of decent damage to us. So, And, oh, I know what I'm doing now. We're going to play on laundry. And... One of the best combos in the game, Freshman Chris. I haven't put Chris in my deck for a while because I've just been using all my quad characters. And during disguise, in the deck, Chris doesn't have the best disguise combos. But he makes up for it in other combos. Is Freshman? Yeah, he's educated. Alright, next. We can make... Yeah, okay, we can make some good combos here with Dr. Amy... Oh, we won. We won. <laughs> I need to get my Dr. Amy one Wong quadded. I need to get some more Giggity Watts, so I guess I guess I should really play some more to get more Giggity Watts. And continue. There we go. I think that's our daily quest complete. So with that, daily quest being completed. Yep, there we go. I think we might end that episode there. Continue. So thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. Well, I might do the... Um, I might actually record tomorrow's episode now while I'm in the mood and do that double box um, review. In fact, I might even make it an episode for today, a double episode today. Make up for all the episodes that I didn't record when I was sick, hey? Uh, so with that, catch you later. See ya. Thanks for watching. And remember, I'm back. Hit that subscribe button.